Fact number 10 and this is my favorite factoid about the 83 World Cup. twenty fifth of june nineteen eighty three is a date that people don't really appreciate in this age of social media where even the biggest flops tend to trend on a yearly basis, which is a shame. Just to rewind on that day, Kapil Dave's team, fondly called Kapil's Devils, pulled off one of the greatest sporting upsets in history, not only in cricket by winning the third ODI World Cup since eighty three the film is going to celebrate this incredible part of our cricketing history. Here are 10 mind-boggling statistics and facts about India's triumph that are sure to make an appearance in the film. Fact number 1. With 18 wickets, Roger Binney finished the tournament as the highest wicket taker. He was the first Indian bowler to finish the World Cup with the most wickets. Only Anil Kumble in 1996 and Zaheer Khan in 2011 have been able to achieve this feat. Madan Lal, who took the key wicket of Viv Richards in the final, finished second in the 1983 competition with 17 wickets. In 83, Madan Lal is played by Hardy Sandhu and Roger Binney's role is essayed by Nishant Dahiya. Fact number 2 Krishnamachari Srikant's innings of 38 in the final was the highest score across both innings. Viv Richards' innings almost rocked India's boat and for a time it looked like he would turn the tide in favour of the West Indies but he eventually got out when he was on 33. While Richards hit 7 fours, Srikant hit the same number of fours as Richards and also hit a 6. In 83, Srikant's role is being played by the Tamil actor Jeeva who has left quite an impression in the trailers so far. Fact number 3, India's total of 183 remains the lowest total defended by any team in a World Cup final to this date. In fact, it was a shock for many people, more so for Indian supporters when India was able to defend that total against the mighty West Indies who were by far the greatest team of that era. West Indies were trying to complete a hat-trick by winning the 1983 World Cup as they had already won the 1975 and the 1979 World Cups and sadly for them, since that day, the West Indies have never won a World Cup tournament. Fact number 4. Kapil Dev finished the tournament as the 5th highest run scorer with 303 runs from 8 matches at a batting average of 60. This includes his magnificent unbeaten 175 against Zimbabwe in a league match where he single-handedly won the match for India. Coming in at 9 for 4, a scene that is depicted in the trailer, he smashed the Zimbabwe attack to all parts of the ground and hit 6 sixes as well. Sadly, this match was not televised and there is no video recording available for this match either. But 83 promises to cover this fabulous inning in detail which should be a treat for all Indian cricket fans. Fact number 5. Batting first, India lost their last 7 wickets for 93 runs in the final. There was absolute pin drop silence in the lunchroom as the batting collapse resulted in a below par total. However, West Indies fared even worse because they lost their last 9 wickets for only 90 runs. The Indian bowlers had the last laugh as they destroyed the Caribbean party before it could even begin. Madan Lal and Mohinder Amanath were wreckers in chief for India and they both claimed 3 wickets each. Hardy Sandhu and Saqib Salim play the roles of Madan Lal and Mohinder Amanath in the film and it will be interesting to see how they portray their parts. Before we go ahead, I'd like to say thank you to all my viewers who are still watching. I know it's super annoying to hear the words like and subscribe, but that's the only way I get to know that I'm on the right path. So, dear viewers, only and only if you think my videos add some value to your time, please smash the like and subscribe buttons. Moving on, here's fact number 6. India was grouped with the West Indies, Australia and Zimbabwe in Group B of the tournament and before qualifying for the semi-finals, the Indian team won 4 of their 6 group matches including a league match against the mighty West Indies. Interestingly, India had not won a single match in the previous World Cup. This was already their best ever performance in World Cup tournaments and in a colonial twist, after defeating host England in the semi-final, India then advanced to the final. Fact number 7. Apart from Viv Richards, the rest of the West Indian batsmen managed only 3 fours and 1 six in the entire innings of the final. Desmond Haynes hit 2 fours, Clive Lloyd hit 1 four, and Jeff Dujon, the wicketkeeper, was able to hit a six. 
all credit goes to the Indian bowling that day in the final where the Calypso beat went completely missing, at least in the second half of the game. Kapil Dev was miserly in his bowling and bowled four maidens out of his 11 overs in the final. Fact number 8. Mohinder Amanath won the Man of the Match award in the final. It was his second successive Man of the Match award, having won it in the semi-finals against England as well. Sakib Salim, who plays Mohinder Amanath in 83, will have an important role to play by the looks of it. Mohinder Amanath not only took 3 wickets for 12 runs, but also scored 26 important runs with the bat in the final. Fact number 9. Following the defeat in the final, Clive Lloyd resigned as the captain of the West Indies. It was a big setback for West Indies cricket, coming only days after one of the greatest upsets of all time. Officials from the West Indies cricket board and senior players then persuaded Lloyd to take his resignation back the next day. The West Indies team subsequently toured India under Clive Lloyd and won convincingly. Sweet revenge for the side after the World Cup heartbreak. Fact number 10 and this is my favourite factoid about the 83 World Cup. Following India's victory, a reader wrote to David Frith, the editor of Wisden Cricket Monthly at the time, reminding him of an article he wrote before the competition stating that if India won the World Cup, he would eat his words. Frith had famously commented that India should withdraw from the Cricket World Cup if they didn't improve. Frith, in fact, was apologetic enough to eat his words, literally, and he even published a photo of himself doing so in his own magazine. I hope this sequence definitely makes it in the film as it's quite an interesting fact about India's 83 campaign. And that's a wrap guys and I hope you've enjoyed listening to this video. Let me know in the comments below what are your top moments from India's campaign in 1983. If you think this video was helpful, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified for future videos. Finally, if you did like my video, please do smash the like button. See you guys in the next one.